everybody, welcome. We are doing some acrylic pouring and I'm not feeling too successful today so far, but so far I've done a puddle pour, which that actually did okay. I was just looking at it real quick, see if it's drying with any slant to it. It doesn't appear to be. Then I did a flower bloom uh, using my water bottle bottom right here and that didn't turn out the way I want it and then I tried doing it with uh, the dessert cup here and that didn't turn out the way I want it uh, so I'm trying to figure out what I want to do now my colander is not cleaned out so I can't do a colander pour my feet are starting to hurt too it can't be one that's too tedious um, I thought about doing a Dutch pour which we could do that, or we could do a ring pour and try out wrecking it and see how that turns out and kind of go from there. I think let's do another Dutch pour. Open the door up a little bit, get some air going. So let me, I'm going to flood it green. The background is going to be green, um, dark green, uh, sap green to be specific. Um, just trying to put a bunch down and then We will blow it. I'm going to try that. That was a technique that Molly from Molly's Artistry had recommended because it gets the paint thin and you're not wasting a lot of paint. Although I probably put too much down, but <laughs> um, we'll see. Um, my air unit is a um, camper uh, inflatable mattress thingy. So it's a little noisy. I'll go ahead and apologize for that. like the battery's dying. I don't know how old the batteries are. I haven't been camping in over 10 years. <laughs> so the batteries may be slowly dying. Um, but that actually worked really well. I'm surprised. Pleasantly surprised. Um, so I'll have to remember that. I did put too much on. Um, that's okay because that was my first time trying that. So now we know for future. We actually didn't blow too much off onto the table. So that's okay. Maybe I didn't put too much down. I'm just um, making sure I've got the corners now. And the sides. Okay. I was trying to think what colors I wanted to use. I don't want it to look Christmassy, so I think we'll avoid red. <laughs> I think we get some awesome coloring with... Aqua. Um, is it just aqua or aqua green? Uh, it's aqua green. <laughs> Artist Loft um, and Artist Loft Cerulean Blue. I think we'll do those two colors and then I want to do a metallic. So let's do. Okay, so I grabbed metallic yellow and we'll see how that turns out. Actually, 
<laughs> I think I just changed my mind. Um, on what I was going to do. No, we'll do a Dutch pour. See how that goes. And then we'll um, go from there. So, metallic yellow. It's Artisoft's metallic yellow. Cerulean blue and aqua green. And usually you want some kind of pattern as you put these down. Um, my first one I did, I purposely wanted it to look like sky and clouds with sun up in the corner. This one, I don't have that much of a concept together. Sorry, just missed there's a bunch of bubbles. We will do kind of a design. This will be a little harder since it's not in a bottle. Don't really need any more yellow. I feel like I need a little something more though. All right. Let's see what happens with that. I didn't like how it was turning out. So we are going to I'm trying to think of what my other idea was. We're going to do a ring pour and um, see how things turn out with that. We'll actually use this cup as my dirty cup. No, there's no paint left in that cup. In this one. And I've got paint that's not going anywhere. <laughs> um, so let's bring this separated. Actually, let's do black as my separator. Let's do some of the metallic yellow. Let's do black white. Some 
never mix red and white together. So we have this warm blue. These two red, black. I'm trying to think of what colors to use. Kind of using a hodgepodge of everything. And let's do white. Let's do purple. We're still down at the firing range. Actually, let's put use to this so it can use it up and not waste it. And you guys probably didn't see any of that and I apologize. Okay. Are we ready for the attempt to fix this? Here we go. Let's see if this turns out pretty or not. I've got some weird colors in here, so I'm not holding my breath. Oops, getting up too close. Actually, I'm a little off center. I thought I was stopping before it was going over the edge, but I didn't. Let me get it over here. Over here. I don't want to stretch it too much just yet. Because I want to try the wreck. But I did need to get my circle center. Okay. I want to spell a word. I need to think of a word though. Let's just do hi. Let's actually pop the bubbles, then we'll do hi. Why does it do that? Okay, let's do hi. And this is just an experiment because I want to do some gift stuff, but I'm trying to figure out the best way to do the gift stuff. So we'll see if there's anything legible in this afterwards. Well, my H is going off the edge. I am not liking yellow today. All that pretty purple is going right off. Oh, I am getting some pretty red in there though.
I have too much yellow, so I'm taking that yellow off. Hold on, I'll show you guys. I'm having problems with muddying today. I am not liking that. So there we go. Let me go wash my gloves. Well, let me fix my corners. Let me go wash my gloves. Be right back. I have a feeling this is going to dry kind of a muddy brown. Um, I hope it doesn't, though. I really like the red that turned up in it with the purple. Um, I know you guys can't see that, but it's very pretty um, in spots. <laughs> Whoops. A little bit. Let me get my camera. Ah, oh, it died. All right, let me charge my camera. So I'm charging the camera real quick, but to give you an idea, here is what the painting looks like. All right, coming in for a close look. Um, my phone's been charging, so this has settled a little bit. It's a lot more yellow and green than I want it to be. But you can see some pretty purples and reds in there, especially that corner there, which I like. And some little bit of cell work going on in there. I don't have any soap in it, so that cells on its own. I like that corner. <laughs> I do not like this strip right here. <laughs> I do not like this over here. Um, and I do not like this side going up here, but I like the middle. There's some neat cells in there um, and coloring. So that's especially clear. I like that right there. So we'll see how this turns out. Um, let me get a picture here. Obviously, I've jumped ahead and inserted the video here. I've got to get better with my colors. We will see how it turns out when it dries. The middle is the most interesting. I like this corner. And I like this corner. I don't like this or that. <laughs> uh, Maybe one day I'll get a technique down. Until then, we'll just have to live with what we've got. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining me. And we'll see how this turns out.
Have a good evening.